Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is numerical problems. Physics, physics numerical 30 volt, 8 volt, V1, I1, I2, I3 is passing this and what are the value value of I1, I2 and I3 respectively find I1, I2 and I3. Okay. And what is the voltage drop across each resistors? Okay, you will see this is the voltage. So 30 volt is the is the is this is the potential. Okay, electro electromotive force you can say EMF. So now this series is parallel. Okay, you see it is parallel parallel series. Okay, now we will go to solution. But what is the parallel series? Parallel series means both side have same potency okay this potential and this potential both are same in here then it is parallel so it is parallel now i u i this is the key choice law parallel series circuit i will also so show the its old kitchops law also now you will see that Current is going here to here this way. This is the 6 ohm, and here is current, and current is going also I2. Now I just find out equivalent resistance. Okay, so this is a 6 ohm. You see. And this is the V2 and V2 value is 3 ohm. 6 ohm is V3 and V2 V2 resistance is 3 ohm. So friends, equivalent resistance is 2 ohm. How I get? I will discuss. And the equivalent resistance formula is 1 divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. And we know that 1 by 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 because we know the in here 6 ohm is the V3. So 3 ohm means 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6. So it is 2 ohm. And R equals to total resistance. And 8 plus 2, this is the total resistance is 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. 10 ohm. So I total is equal to V by R. This is the this is the Ohm's law. So we get 30 divided by 10 is equal to 3 amperes. And V1 is equal to 8 into 3 is equal to 24 volt. And V1 is equal to V2 because V3 because this is the parallel. Parallel series means same voltage. So V1, V2 is equal to V3. So it is 2 into 3 because equal resistance into current. Re resistance into current. V is equal to IR. I is equal to 3 and R is equal to current. So this is a 6 volt. So I1 is equal to 3A and I2 is equal to 6 volt divided by 3 o o ohm is equal to amperes and I3 is equal to 6 volt divided by 6 ohm equals to 1 amperes. So friends, in, in, in this in this Kirchhoff's law rule, when you, you, you if you follow, then this there is a, a circuit in 6 volt and 6 volt. So total 6 volt plus 6 volt is 0 because algebraic sum of the potential is 0. So in, in a closed loop. So you will see when it is the closed loop, then it is zero. And in here, when it is the closed loop, you will see 30 plus 24 plus 6 volt, that is zero. Thanks for watching. I hope it is clear for everyone.